Hi, I'm Don Baden from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today we're going to be checking out Ultrasphere, new standalone plugin from Sample Logic. This new instrument from Sample Logic runs in their new Ultra engine. It does not require contact. It's got 1700 instruments and presets with over 10 gigabytes of sampled content. It's a four core sample engine with an XY mixer. There's a sound sculptor, dual ARP sequencer, and chord player, and a dynamic browser for going through those presets. Library normally sells for $399.99 from Sample Logic. At the time of putting the video together here, you can grab it for $299.99. And I'll include a link over to Sample Logic, first thing in the description below. First thing I want to know is what does this thing sound like? We've got all kinds of presets with their tag system here. All the presets run down the side. Let's start with uh, build up sub. I'll try some of these. We can go on and on about these different presets, which we will, but I just want to do a quick overview. We've got four layers, one, two, three, four, and they're mapped across the keyboard down here. So you can actually see we could turn off uh, the different ones right here or move where they're being triggered. So right now when I'm playing the lowest notes, I'm only getting this sphere 1019. Now you've got the ability to mute different cores or solo them across the top and the XY, which 
is working very smoothly. One thing about a contact XY is sometimes it just gets a little bogged down. There's a lot of coding that goes on. This seems to answer a request that I had, which was if you're gonna make an XY instrument, if you programmed it just to do that, it might be smoother and it seems to be really smooth. I've got no clicking or glitching or anything going on right now. The instruments itself, you can choose your different sample sets and they're just kind of randomly named spheres. So don't really know what you're getting. And if you double click, they load up. However, however, it doesn't take you back to the page. You got to hit that X. So now you can see we loaded up this new sphere, uh, 1511. One of the things they talked about is the hot swappable LFOs, so we can just play around with these a little bit. There's a sequencer, and then there's a effects section. Uh, this looks pretty straightforward. Just pull down and change what effects you want in what order. Um, the sequencer looks like you could just easily drag through and create that. Um, I'm not seeing any presets for the sequences, and there's two ARPs and a chord maker. Uh, that's just a quick look at the interface. I want to listen to a lot more presets here, so I'm going to mute my mic so we can just experience what Ultrasphere is out of the box. <laughs>
probably as good a preset to stop and comment that this is the kind of instrument that you just hold out and see what happens. It seems that the longer I let it go, the more it morphs and changes because these samples for each source of fear are so long, you just don't know what's going to happen. The longer you hold it, the more it evolves and changes, and that's without even turning the XY animation on or creating your own, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Um, let's listen to more of these instrumental presets, and I'm thinking we'll listen to motion presets here after that.
pretty appropriately named for a preset that sounds like instant Floyd. Let's continue on. Now with that one, I think I played it specifically as a noting that you can get drones by playing way up low, way up high, you don't know what's going to happen. And then in the middle, you get these ever-evolving pads that just kind of continue to go on and on and on. Let's listen to more of these. particularly like that one. It's got a very dub feel to it. Uh, I promised we'd do these motions next. Sample Logic instruments have long been known for their arpeggiation motion, instant one note wonders. Let's see what these have in store.
Panoramic motions are great. They're not what I expected. I guess maybe the sequencer motions might have been more of what I was thinking we'd hear. Let's find out. There we go. Preset called Killing Den. Definitely disturbing. Alright, let's check out some other presets they've got here. Here's one called Mixed Emotions. Hopefully we don't duplicate anything we've heard before. I like how this one's synthy and scory and worldy all at once and has some real emotions that are going on behind it. Um, I think you don't know what you're going to get. That's the thing. You just don't know until you start playing.
Let's try these slow motion presets. Check out maybe some deep sub presets. I did mention it in the facts section, but just in case you weren't paying attention, this is a new standalone plugin. It's a Mac compatible audio unit and VST3 and Windows compatible VST3. The system requirements do state that they recommend a Mac OS 10.9.5 Maverick M1 compatible or Windows 8, 10 or higher. <laughs>
probably as good a preset to stop and comment that this is the kind of instrument that you just hold out and see what happens. It seems that the longer I let it go, the more it morphs and changes because these samples for each source of fear are so long, you just don't know what's going to happen. The longer you hold it, the more it evolves and changes, and that's without even turning the XY animation on or creating your own, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Um, let's listen to more of these instrumental presets, and I'm thinking we'll listen to motion presets here after that.
pretty appropriately named for a preset that sounds like instant Floyd. Let's continue on. Now with that one, I think I played it specifically as a noting that you can get drones by playing way up low, way up high, you don't know what's going to happen. And then in the middle, you get these ever-evolving pads that just kind of continue to go on and on and on. Let's listen to more of these. particularly like that one. It's got a very dub feel to it. Uh, I promised we'd do these motions next. Sample Logic instruments have long been known for their arpeggiation motion, instant one note wonders. Let's see what these have in store. <laughs>
Panoramic motions are great. They're not what I expected. I guess maybe the sequencer motions might have been more of what I was thinking we'd hear. Let's find out. There we go. Preset called Killing Den. Definitely disturbing. Alright, let's check out some other presets they've got here. Here's one called Mixed Emotions. Hopefully we don't duplicate anything we've heard before. I like how this one's synthy and scory and worldy all at once and has some real emotions that are going on behind it. Um, I think you don't know what you're going to get. That's the thing. You just don't know until you start playing.
Let's try these slow motion presets. Check out maybe some deep sub presets. So many presets here and so many sounds like 1500 different presets and the different source sounds so uh, I think it's important to try to play around a little bit maybe create my own kind of preset and maybe program my own X Y in let's start by just uh, let's just solo core one Start with something airy. Ooh, that's nice. That one's got a little bowed pitch to it already in the beginning. Um, and let's really focus that up here, a little higher. 
Now let's focus on uh, core two. I actually like that one, but for the sake of trying out different stuff. Oh, let's not do an area one, let's do a deep sub one. Here we go. too slow, a little too weird, a little too much buzz in the high end. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. Go to core three. Big fat synth. Let's go to. Uh, let's try something natural. I love these dub sound ones. A little too spacey. Let's go with that one. We'll we'll focus that one more on our low side. This is actually an LFO. Here's your range right here. All right, let's continue on with the core four. Let's go with something vocal. Let's see what we got. Okay. Very angelic. Let's cut most of our. A little bit of bell stuff going on in there. All right. Let's create our own path here. I'm just going to hold down a chord. We got that. I'm going to clean up some of this low end here. It's a little woofy. And let's hear it. Additionally, we've got um, sequencing set up and mod set up and effects. The sequencing, I just turned it on here. I'm soloing core one. You can see I got core one selected here. And now we can just drive, draw in our velocity. The other thing is you can move our sample start. And 
really got to get some wacky stuff. You can also uh, randomize your pitch. See, with our send effects, it's pretty easy to control those. And then with our master effects, you've got uh, three different modules and this master EQ, which it looks like um, you can change it out and move everything around. So if you don't want the EQ, we want a phaser. Looks like there's presets for each of the effects too, which is kind of cool. Gives you great places to start to, you know, play around. Now the big thing I wondered is why leave contact? Why build your own? And I can see why Sample Logic has done this. This thing functions so much smoother than the XY engine inside of Contact, and. They've really streamlined it and it doesn't seem to have any bugginess. It doesn't click when you select a different sample. You don't get hiccups or CPU burps or all those things that I just grew to accept in a giant engine with XY capability in contact. That is what's impressing me. The sounds for the first uh, Ultrasphere in the new uh, engine here are really nice. Some of it's a little heavy handed in the presets, but you always got the ability to butte, change your spheres up, even controlling, you know, your uh, high pass and low pass filters really cleans things up easily on the sample playback. Overall, I'm excited to play with it some more because there's just so many more presets. Those are just some of my thoughts about Ultrasphere here as a first look, getting a first feel for it here in some of the playback, but I'd love to hear yours. Please comment below. Let me know what you think. What do you think about Sample Logic expanding into their own VST AU plugin here and with the release of Ultrasphere? Is this something you'll be using? Something you think will be handy? Great addition to your workflow? Comment below. Let me know. I'd love it if you'd like or subscribe to the channel here. That'd be very helpful. And come back around on Fridays for a weekly deal compressor show.